Greetings, and welcome back to Don't Starve. So I've got to do a little bit of resource gathering here at the start, get some more logs and such. Um, it, it, like I said, it's coming up time for the hound hunt attack, so I might get the hound attack, but if I don't, uh, I'll just see you all shortly after I'm done with my resource gathering. Assuming that I don't get a tree guardian while I'm doing this. And man, those birds pop like crazy, don't they? Well, that's the end of that chest. I mean, of that trap, so I should be done with it. Alright, so we have returned to the swamp to deal with the uh, clockwork so I can get some gears. Uh, this area looks like a good spot to leave my backpack. Come along. There's a couple of gears. Uh, I don't see any more clockworks here. But two, I think, may be all I needed. Um, I don't know if I can see the recipe for the ice box till I get back, but I think two is all I needed. And we definitely have more spiders here. Um, so that's something I can let mature and then be able to... Uh, relocate to an area closer to me to hunt. So let's get my backpack back and head on back. And we have Weber's skull. Uh, I came back and got the uh, things I left dropped down here. Oh, and I need more stone. I'm out of stone. Ugh. I don't have room. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I'm completely out of stone. Uh, finding a gold vein would be the better choice, uh, since it won't give me niter, which I don't need right now. Let's see. Where was that graveyard? Back up that way. Okay, so we can unlock Weber as a playable character. Now that we have the skull and a shovel. Let's just cut cross country to get back to our camp a little faster. Um, unfortunately, I'm running a little bit low on food. Oh. But I can take care of that with the birds. They should have uh, died in the chest by now. So I'll have some morsels at least. And I can always feed the morsels for eggs. But I don't believe two morsels will combine to a um, uh, bacon and eggs. You need a, a larger meat, not just two morsels. Because it has to be greater than one in meat value. And a morsel only counts as half of one. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we have one morsel. So let's see, one morsel. No, I don't have any other food other than the morsels. Let's see. Let's go ahead and murder these. Gives me two morsels three morsels. So let's give two of those to the bird. And we'll actually end up making kebabs with one stick. Now, I believe that's going to come out as kebabs. Hopefully it won't come out as goop. I could have used roasted birch nuts to make sure it would have been meatballs, I believe. And then 
night is going to be fairly short. It's only going to be about 60 seconds. So we should be able to head up toward uh, somewhere to either hunt. Well, well, we'll take care of Weber's skull, and that'll give us monster meat, if nothing else. And then we should be able to uh, do some hunting. And while I'm waiting for this... Okay, that's full. Yes, we got kebabs. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put a log on the fire. And I have a spare hammer. Let's just put it in this chest for now. Um, oh, and the gears. So we should be able to make ice boxes. Alright, I need more paper to make things like the compass. See, ice boxes are actually under food. I need one cut stone, so I need to go out and collect stone before I can make use of this. But yes, two gears will make me two ice boxes, which is exactly what I needed. Let's go ahead and stash these. There's no reason for me to be carrying them around. That's an extra inventory space I can get free up. But we'll go take care of Weber's skull. And, uh... I need a new spear. So let me go ahead and make a backup spear while I'm waiting. Uh, I need a rope for that. There we go. We'll head up here, take care of Weber's skull, and uh, see about getting some stone. There was some more gold veins um, up in the area with the tall birds, which is another source of food. All right, there is a grave. We have a blue gem. Now, let us bury Weber's skull. I'm just going to tank these guys since there's only a few left. And gather all of these materials up real quick before this pig comes over here to eat. And now we have unlocked Weber as a playable character. Um, and my inventory is full, but I have two stacks of silk I can take care of. Alright, so that's all you need to do to unlock Weber as a playable character. Uh, and you don't really have to even fight the uh, spiders that came up. I just did it because it was a source of monster meat and silk, both of which are things that I eventually will need. I didn't take a whole lot of damage doing it either, so... Gather a few of these, and then I will make my way back to camp to stash some more stuff. I have enough logs, I could make a third chest that will allow me to store even more stuff. But I'm going to free up quite a bit with the uh, monster meat um, by throwing it into a crock pot. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I'll feed you too. Why is it not giving? Oh, it has to be cooked or uh, jerky. So let's just dry all three of these. It won't eat raw monster meat. I'd forgotten about that. Stash the spider glands and silk. Let's actually move the ashes over here as well. Uh, stash the blue gem in the first one. Freed up a little bit more space. I'll let these things turn into jerky. Um, and we need to head up 
and find some more gold and stone. There was gold right there, um, pretty much due west of us. Because I need some more stone to put together the ice boxes. I'm going to need at least six stone. And if all else fails, I can eat seeds or birch nuts for tonight. Alright, pretty much still due west. There's the gold. Actually, there's three here. Good. That should give me enough stone, uh, getting all three of these. Two might even be enough. And tomorrow, we can explore the, uh, wormholes and see where they're going to take us. Alright, as you can see, I can... Pretty much place these ice boxes right up against these structures so that I have a nice cluster. I can start leaving my food in these so that it doesn't spoil as quickly. Uh, let's cook up some seeds. I've got quite a few. I could probably end up starting a garden pretty soon. Oops. Fire went out. Alright, time to explore these wormholes. This one, we're going to put the sign to the east of the wormhole. And see where we come out. Uh, it actually didn't jump us too far. It brought us up close to uh, the other clockwork piece. And I think there might be spiders in the vicinity as well. But overall, wasn't a huge jump in distance. Now let's grab some more reeds while we're out here in the swamp anyway. I don't really need more gears right now, so I'll hold off on annoying the clockworks. And just take the long way back. Oh, there was a thing I could pick up near the... Uh, pig house up here.
Because I used that wormhole, unfortunately, yeah. my sanity has taken a bit of a hit. Um, not really too much I can prototype yet uh, to uh, recover my sanity. It's a little too late for me to go looking for... Um, go looking for uh, green mushrooms. So sanity is going to be a little bit of a problem until I can start getting some uh, uh, food sources. So tomorrow needs to be a hunt. We need to find uh, a suspicious dirt pile and be able to track it down. And I need to prep a campfire just in case. Charlie's get starting to get pretty aggressive. I'm down to 49. I'll actually have to start fighting these things soon. Sun should be coming up shortly. Do I have enough silk to make another uh, top hat? That would help. Yes. All right, let's do that. That will give us a positive sanity increase. So that should help compensate with our sanity for a little bit. Alright, uh, I do need three more of these. But we need to find a suspicious dirt pile and get a supply of food. Um, I've been making do with the seeds uh, for the most part right now. I could hunt spiders because I can convert um, monster meat into eggs but actually finding actual meat would be the better choice. Let's see, where was I headed? I don't want to take another wormhole with my sanity currently where it is. So I guess we are just exploring, looking for a suspicious dirt pile to investigate.
Hopefully we will find one. We've got plenty of daylight. Let's kind of follow the coast. If all else fails, I can always pull up some carrots. Let's see, didn't I find one of the things near some farms? Oh no, that was the previous save, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, well, this is a good uh, area to try and catch a koalaphant in. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a suspicious dirt pile. But yeah, the top hat should be helping my sanity quite a bit. Um, it still goes up rather slowly. It's per minute, I believe. Oh, there's one of the things, and I'm known. We can take that back to our base. Yeah, it says it's going up, but I'm not really seeing it increasing much. There, finally went up going to take several minutes, I guess, for it to increase, so it's not really going to compensate enough for how much we're draining at night. There's some more gold. And stone, which I'm short on. I'm doing good on flint. I don't use it often enough now that I have gold to make tools. Another road to follow. So let's do some more exploration up this way. I definitely need to keep on more clockworks. I definitely need to keep my eyes out for uh, green mushrooms to really boost my sanity because I'm not sure if the amount it's increasing will make up for the amount I lose during dusk. I don't think, you know, if it compensates enough. out to find out. Nope, it's going down. If I wasn't starving, uh, a bedroll would be a good idea just to boost my sanity a bit. So far, I have not seen a suspicious dirt pile unless I wasn't paying attention and missed one. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this carrot. We're going to roast up some carrots for tonight at our campfire, uh, just for the extra food. almost tempted to pluck some flowers uh, to boost my sanity a little bit. I was kind of hoping the Prestahaditator would uh, compensate enough for the loss during dusk, but I was mistaken. Now, it's supposed to give as much um, sanity increase as the uh, flower um, garland does. Another road. 
I can't see very well that way. Alright, I'm starting to get hungry. I'm going to go ahead and set down my campfire. Let's drop the flint, roast up these carrots and some uh, seeds, just so we're not starving. Actually, let's go ahead and cook up more of these seeds. I'm in danger of uh, starving. <laughs> My jerky should all be made by the time I get back, but unfortunately this trip was not very fruitful because I did not find a um, creature to hunt. And yeah, I think we're losing more during the dusk and night than we are gaining during the day with the uh, hat. It's going to be a very short night. We're about halfway through the season at this point. I still don't feel I'm, I'm very well set for winter. Uh, I don't have any of the warmer clothes. Um, I might have to end up hunting some beefalo. Uh, just to get, um, okay, tentacle spots and hound's teeth are what you need for the raincoat. Or is that bone shards? Bone shards. <clears throat> so I might need to get, uh, hunt some beefalo for the meat if I cannot find a suspicious track to follow in the morning. We're staying right about the 50s, right above the range where these things can attack us. But I want to boost a little more. Um, picking that flower helped a little bit. Alright, that just looped around over to this section, I believe. Yep, and there's another wormhole. That probably connects with one of the ones we have elsewhere. And there is a suspicious dirt pile. I will come back and investigate that after I pick up the ashes from over here. Or have they already blown away? There they are. Alright, so... I am going to have some inventory issues at this point. Um, with the meat that it drops. Getting it back to my base will not be easy. I can always leave a sign. Well, I've got these two extra things for making signs. You know, uh, or this extra flint, I can always leave something behind. And just re uh, leaving a sign would be the better idea, so that I know where to come back to. There it is. Well, I am going to end up um, did I miss it yes there it is I am going to end up using up this spear probably that'll free up an inventory slot yep we're looking for food right now matter of fact let's go ahead and eat 
these two seeds raw. Actually, we're getting closer to our camp with this hunt, which is perfect. Yeah, we're just down the road from our camp. The sooner we find this creature, the better. All right, it's nearby. All right, now I need to push it to a coast. So I need to push it up that way. Time to switch to our log suit. I'm not pushing it to a corner like I would like. Oh, it doubled back just as I wanted to. All right, right there. Go after it. Nope, it's it's pulling away from the coast. Let's see, we really need it trapped up against this thing. If all else fails, I can wait till night, set a campfire. Let me make sure I've got, I can make one. And hunt it at the fire. That frees up another slot. lost my spear and it didn't switch. There we go. And we have a hound attack incoming. Oh boy. Let's get back to my base so that I can have a nice roaring fire. Two all I'm getting works for me. All right, so we've got some more monster meat. Let's harvest this drying rack. We'll get some eggs in a second. Right now, I want to hang this meat. Um, actually, we're just going to hang four of it, I think. Uh, hang these other two monster meat. Turn two of these jerky into eggs. And we are going to make some bacon and eggs. I'm going to go ahead and cook up the qualifit trunk and eat it the way it is. Cook up all of this meat. Get our backpack back. And we need four boards, I believe. 
two more boards to make, uh, where's the meat effigy? Yeah, two more boards to make the meat effigy plus one more beard hair. And we'll take care of that in the morning. But uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.